all right guys hopefully y'all can hear me um i know it's uh gonna be probably a little loud i got the generator going the air compressor going in the uh in the vacuum going he's vacuuming over there right now but this video is going to be about the engine bay it's going to be about using the tornador classic with mcguire's all-purpose cleaner in the tornador and um i am also going to use my works hydro shot but i'm going to show you a couple different ways to go about doing this um you know if you don't have a tornador then obviously a bottle just you know an all-purpose cleaner or usually if it's you know when they're worse than this i use super clean diluted four to one um but today i'm gonna use mcguire's all-purpose and um so i'm gonna show you you know using the torn door to uh agitate but then i've also got these three brushes right here this is um the easy detail um brush to to get in the barrels of your wheels um, this is a brush that I got that's just it's just a good uh, combination of um, stiffness. I was using it for for wheels um, and tires, but I've since swapped my process over to using microfiber for the wheels on most cases. Um, so situation like this, this big area, you know, this brush will work good. Uh, this, you know, for getting down in the the nooks and crannies and then this one probably be the main one that i'll be using other than the tornador is going to do some agitating for us just by you know what you know if you were normally just using a spray bottle and you would be spraying it on you know it's hitting it with a little bit of force but uh you know that's you know you're just squirting it on just to get well that's if you have a stream if you have it on a fan spray you know then you're just uh, spraying it on and it's not doing anything other than you're just delivering the product onto the surface let it dwell for a second then you come in with your brush and agitate well with the torn door it's going to do agitating as it's also putting the product down so um, in some situations like this one is not too terribly bad really um, I mean it definitely needs to be cleaned but and this is one of my maintenance clients. Y'all have seen this. If y'all watch my other videos, y'all have seen this Mercedes in other videos. And uh, I haven't uh, haven't done her engine bay yet. And she doesn't even know I'm doing it. But I figured, hey, I'll make a video and, and knock this out as well. Because it's so easy to do these, um, these vehicles that are my maintenance clients that... I don't mind doing something like this so it definitely you know point being i'm showing you this because it definitely needs to be cleaned but it's not the worst one i've ever done uh not even close so um what i'm the reason i'm saying that is because the torn door you'll be able to see here in a second will be able to do a decent amount of agitation as far and and it gets in these cracks and crevices really really well um so not only there's multiple advantages to using the torn door like i said if you don't have a torn door uh you know one of these brushes right here will um do fine or the combination of them i could i really i could do pretty much the whole engine bay with just one of these brushes um you know this is cool to have for you know get reaching and this you know you don't have to have it just for bigger areas but anyhow the torn door is useful for uh, multiple things other than like I said instead of just applying the product all-purpose cleaner now we're going to be agitating so it's doing that job for us as well and then um, now you can like like I said I've got all-purpose cleaner in it you can, should be able to see it's kind of green got a green tint to it but you could um, either have a a separate tank or B just take once you get through uh putting all your product down and agitating it comes time to rinse you could you know say they, uh take the all-purpose cleaner that's left in there dump it into another bottle that you have or container and then just fill it up with regular water and bring that back to rinse and you could rinse with a torn door and then on top of that you can dry with the torn door because 
and that is one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to use the Works Hydro Shot to rinse in this situation, um, just because you know I've, I've got it. So I don't. But I have done that before. Just you know, I've done it where I've, I've poured you know that into a container and put regular water back in it and used it to rinse an engine bay, and it works just fine. Um, but uh, and it's very it's very gentle, but yet at the same time, like I said, it still agitates. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna show y'all, you know, what this torn door is gonna do to this. Um, then we're gonna rinse it, and then the torn door, I'm gonna use that to dry because it it just does an awesome job. I mean, forced air period is gonna work, but it I don't know. To me, it seems like it works a little faster than just a regular um, blow gun. Something about it. So, but forced air period helps you, you know, dry these a lot quicker, helps you get water out of um, areas that normally, you know, you, you wouldn't really be able to get with a towel. Um, so then you're getting all the water out and then you can go straight into dressing it. So let me put this on pause and uh, let's get to work. We're gonna oh, trip over my camera stand. So uh, I'm gonna start with the top here. Um, it's dirty, but you know, I might show y'all a little bit of it, but there's nothing really amazing about that. I'll probably mainly show y'all doing uh, the main part of the engine bay here. All right, so I just started on this side. Uh, me looking through the screen, I don't know how well you can see as far as this top part. I don't think you can really tell. You won't be able to tell what this is doing cleaning wise. Um, but I just wanna uh, say that you know, with this level of dirt, which is, I would call this average, um, to run across, but uh, the, the agitation that the tour door is giving is enough to where I don't even have to, I'm laying the product down, but at the same time, and it'll dwell, and then I could come back over if, if I needed to with this, or come back over it with a brush, but I don't even think I'm going to need to come back over it with a brush, because it's already agitating it to the point to where it's breaking it up, and and all I have to do is rinse and it'll look uh, just fine. So I'll just show you what I'm talking about. You know, it'd be really cool if the next toy door that they make, if they make another one, um, that it had a metering device on it. Um, I'm not sure if you could like play with the valve to get it, you know. Well, really the reason I'm saying this is because it'd be cool if in some situations you could turn it up to where it puts out more fluid. Um, the vast majority of situations I use this in, I like uh, the amount that it puts out, um, which is not a lot. But in a situation like this, it would be cool if you could turn it up, you know, had some kind of valve adjustment where you could make it put out more fluid or less um, or none, whichever way. I think that would be really cool. So, um, so I'm just going to rinse this real quick with the works, and then I might show you all uh, the difference between the two. Okay, I don't know how well y'all are going to be able to see this. Sorry for shaking you around or any noise. Alright. And it's going to be wet anyways, but just let it adjust. But 
you know, there's a sight. See, it's, it's hard to tell in my screen anyways. That's just water, but it looks almost like dirt. Hopefully y'all can see it better. Um, but the reason I was trying to show you all this is because it looks better than this side where you can hopefully still see that dirt if it'll focus right but you know there it goes that dirt in there you know so it uh the torridor alone you know and i might i probably could have went even a little bit faster than i was so um the torridor can save you time but because like I said, I was putting the product down and it's agitating for me, doing enough agitating to break this stuff loose to where all I have to do is rinse it. And if you didn't have the works and you had a hose pipe, um, it would still rinse freely. Um, you know, it's, hopefully y'all could see, I wasn't right up, you know, point blank with the works, there's a bug, point blank with the works, um, taking advantage of the pressure, to be honest with you, that was less pressure hitting the surface than if you were using a hose pipe. Um, hose pipe would have been more aggressive and way more water than the works in this situation. So let me uh, put y'all back on pause. I know we're already at, you know, 12 minutes basically, but uh, if you're still watching, you know, I'm gonna show the main part of the engine bay now. So let me put this on pause. All right. So I'm going to try the same thing right here. I'm just going to try to use the torn door alone without a brush at first um, to hit this little this little section right here and just see what it'll do. I don't know how much you guys can see um, but this thing just the torn door you know and this is 90 psi what I always run it at what you're recommended to run it at and some Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner diluted 10 to 1 actually it's probably like 15 to 1 now I think about it so it's not very strong um, but that's enough you know pretty much what I'm saying is I could almost use water and get this off and when you look at it, it uh, you know some of this looks like you would definitely have to agitate it with a brush. Um, so, you know, the, the fact that this is breaking it loose, I don't know if y'all can see it real good. After I rinse it, I'll dry it off and, and give y'all a good look at it. So, let's keep going. Alright, we'll rinse it.
Then I'm gonna dry it off real quick. Okay, so we're at 17 minutes. Um, I don't know, you know, hopefully y'all could see. Um, now, did I get it completely dry? No, I just wanted to, you know, it's pretty close, um, especially over here where I kind of concentrated. Uh, but I, I, I just wanted to show, you know, hopefully y'all could see the way that torn door, you know, in little holes, like, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see over here in the oil field cap, it'll, it'll kick like the torn door does, it pulls stuff out. Whereas normal just forced air, kind of just blow it around. The torn door will kind of pick it up out of there. So that's why, you know, I really like it. Um, but uh, but forced air, you know, of course works too. Um, but yeah, just with the torn door, you know, and uh, trying to do it, you know, at a fairly decent speed, not taking all day, um, it's definitely a, noticeably improved situation um i mean i don't know if it's showing up on the camera but about right here there's a line of demarcation where i started with the tour door on this right here and then you can see where it's still dirty um all this in here i mean it uh, it definitely looks a lot lot better is it perfect no but in this situation, I'm not going for, you know, um, show car perfect. Just doing, just going for greatly improved. Like I said, she doesn't even know I'm doing this. It's just something, you know, I kind of wanted to make a video about it. And at the same time, do it out of courtesy. Um, I enjoy doing that thing. So, uh, yeah, you know, uh, if, you, if you've got a works, you know, I know I've already made a video about that, that, uh, I think it's a great tool for engine bay detailing. Uh, like I said, don't get point blank, especially up on like electronics, you know, just use common sense, but um, I've never had an issue. I've done it with a hose pipe, I've done it with the works, I've done it with the pressure washer. And the pressure washer definitely, definitely, definitely stay a good ways away back. Um, never get up close and try to cheat by, you know, uh, knocking the dirt loose with the pressure instead of agitating uh, with a brush, you know, so, cause then you, you might get in trouble for sure. But um, yeah, the torn door, it's an awesome tool. There's so many uses for it. Um, like I said, if you didn't have a hose pipe um, or, or the works or whatever, then you could absolutely take the all purpose cleaner, dump that into a container and fill it back up with just water and go back and rinse it the same way as I was drying and then dry it with the torn door. You could do it all with the torn door, especially in a situation like this. And you know, this was, um, like I said, uh, moderately dirty. So, and the torn door is handling it all by itself. Um, and if it's, you know, dirtier than that, stuff's a little more stuck on. Like I said, you could go super clean four to one helps break stuff up easier, but then also, you know, uh, I always recommend you to have a brush, you know. So, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much what it was about. And um, so, like always, I encourage y'all to leave comments. 
Um, thank you for everybody who's been leaving comments and asking questions. And, uh, and uh, you know, thank you in advance for those of you that'll um, leave it on this one or any others. Um, oh, I, I do want to mention, I, I put a video out the other night um, saying I need your help. And it was um, it's a comparison against uh, QPON 2.0 Gary Dean's Infinite Force Field, and then the 9H Mr. Fix-It uh, cheap ceramic coating you can get off eBay or Amazon. Um, I wanted to see, you know, have everybody vote to pick two of those to compare with each other. And um, I, I'm sorry, uh, apologize, I can't remember your, your screen name, um, but you, you commented and said QP on. Um, thank you very much for doing that. I'd like to have uh, some more people, you know, put their two cents in on what they would like to see. Uh, but I am going to do that video fairly soon, hopefully. Um, so I'd like to see some more people chime in on that one. Um, but other than that, you know, we will uh, catch you next time. So till then, either be good or be good at it.